nice for everybody to just relax. Okay, Arthur. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Uh, don't really know where to start, really, Arthur, if I'm being honest. It's been, um, I guess, like the highlights are. Um, I went away for a long time. Um, in like, it just got harder and harder for me to come back. So things that were like happening in my head. Um, and I came back and now the things have started happening again. Okay. It's like... Oh. Oh, for how, how long have you been around here for, mate? Have you, have you been in the city for a while now? Long enough yeah, to... Yeah, like eight long, years, I would say. You know? oh, yeah, I was going to say long enough to get a lay of the land, so that's a yes. Um, as you can imagine, Arthur, um, oh, is everything confidential, Arthur? Yep. Okay, so... Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay. So, like... As you can imagine, um, it's I work in a restaurant, um, and it's quite difficult making friends around here that aren't into a particular lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, and I, so basically, I was working at one place, and I met a man who has bas basically gave me an opportunity to work down at Frank's, and from there I've then met so many wonderful people that I really like and love um, and the reason I went away was because it was getting too stressful for me because I was just kind of worried all the time that they were you know whenever they weren't at Frank's I was worried about like what they were getting into um, the fact that I couldn't really feel like I couldn't hang around with them outside of Frank's because of what they were doing but at the same time like I, I really do care about them and love them and then, like after a little while, I went away and like think, you know, I was thinking about things. And then all of a sudden, like it was like I started to hear like memories in my head all of the time. Like of the last six months, working down there and like conversations I'll have with people just literally just keep replaying in my mind. And then after so long, um, I, the only way I could describe it. Arthur was that like I just started to feel completely empty and there was like it was like a, a noise inside my head like it might sound stupid but it sounded like somebody trying to break out of my mind and since I come back the memories have started again but like the, the person or whatever it is that was trying to break out of my mind hasn't like hasn't come back but I'm, I'm really worried about what it is and and about it coming back does any of this make any sense to you Arthur it does seems like you have a bit of anxiety Just a little bit, I guess. But like, so to that, feel like go on. Apologies. You want to be different because you want to be with your friends, but at the same time, you want to stay who you are and not cave to the. At the end of the day, you know the um, intrusive thoughts, right? Yeah, I guess so. Everybody has it, you know. When I'm driving down the street, I'm like, mm, I could just turn the wheel like two degrees to the right and run that person over. But I don't. Bloody hell. Everybody has those thoughts. It's what makes you strong because you choose not to do those things. 
You have the opportunity, you have the choice, and you choose not to. Yeah, 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 yeah it makes sense. I just, like, tonight, Arthur, um, I just, I'll just play a scene for you. Um, I was, I was held up at gunpoint by three men. Um, and robbed. All because of the place that I work. And, you know what, what I realised afterwards, when I was feeling very stressed out, and it was like, I, I closed the place even though there was a queue of people. And they were all shouting at me. I realised, like later on, it wasn't really like, it wasn't the fact that I got robbed at gunpoint that was stressing me out. It was the fact that earlier on, there had been allowed a, a gunfire around around the food court. And I just had a gut feeling that it was going to be my, the people I know that were involved. And I couldn't stop thinking about them and worrying. It was worrying. And then like, it turned out I was right. It didn't even matter. Like, it's strange. I, I didn't like being hit, robbed at gunpoint, but that wasn't what was stressing me out. You felt helpless to help your friends. Yeah, exactly. And then I've just done something stupid just to make myself feel better, which is go to the prison and throw glizzies over the wall. It did make me feel better because I got to see my friends were all right. But they're not even my friends, I don't think. I don't think they know I feel this way. Have you tried to tell them? I wouldn't even know where to start off, I'll be honest. It's well, just, there's so many people and so many like things to say. To be fair, brother, actions speak a lot louder than words. I'm sure, while you may do things your own way, perhaps throwing glizzies over the wall is not a luxury that <laughs> your friends have had if they've gone to prison before. Yeah. Perhaps they'll appreciate that you came to check on them and see how they're doing. Not everybody does that. You know, it's just, it's so stressful. It's like checking the newspaper all the time. I check. I genuinely have now made it part of my day to check the newspaper every 30 minutes or so. Tonight I was checking it more frequently just because I had a good feeling. I just knew. I feel like I've made some inroads with with a couple of people over like the last twenty four hours or so. But I'm just, I don't. I'm just so scared of this bloody banging noise coming back in my head because I've never really felt anything like it before. I'm always someone who tries to please people and make people happy. That's always been what I've enjoyed in life, but. This feeling that I had when I went away, it was just it was just nothing. Just 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 blank. It wasn't sad, it wasn't angry, it wasn't happy. It was just nothing. Never felt anything like it before. I'm scared you of it. It felt like you were missing something. Like all of a sudden you had something going and then it was gone. Yeah, I think so. And like if you that would make sense because it was like the harder, the longer I was away, the harder it came to come back. You were anxious that people were going to see you not being there the first bit. Yeah, exactly. I really was. You know, there's always different ways to deal with things. If I'm picking up what you're putting down, part of what you're saying is, when your friends got shot, you got very angry. And you wished you could have done something for them in the moment, outside of just hand them some food. Perhaps that outlet was 
you wanted to hurt the people that hurt your friends. I th I don't... But at the same point, you don't want to be that kind of person. I guess that's kind of what I'm afraid the banging in my head was, if I'm being honest. Now that I think well, about it. You're the one that's going to have to live with your decisions at the end of the day, and nobody else. So if you give in to that banging in your head, that's just who you are, brother. It's just another side of you. Everybody is like a piece of stained glass. A large mural upon the wall. And who you truly are is like the light that shines through that glass. What everybody sees of you is what you show them. Whatever that mural is that you've put up. Occasionally, though, there's a little break of light that makes it through without going through that glass, and people can see who you really are. The important thing, brother, is that you do what you want to do. I can promise you that if you really wanted to help your friend, yet you don't want to give in to that voice, that if they're good friends, they will respect that decision. And I can also promise you as someone who has never hurt anybody, there are other ways to help in these sorts of situations. Okay, that makes the, sense. Yeah, it does. The first, I'll be honest with you, mate. The first bit you said was bloody beautiful. I just um, I wouldn't. I don't know where to start. There's just so many people, and like, I think I think I've, I think I've got an idea of where to start, maybe. But I just don't know how to approach it. It's just I don't even know if they know, like. I don't care about them so much. But yeah, because, like you said, actions speak louder than words. Maybe you should just tell them. Because, like, I, I've, I've been... I've been here a long time ago, Arthur. Like, I came here a long time ago. And I found it, like, so difficult to... To connect with anybody. And then, like, over the last six months... I don't think I've ever been in a position in my life where I've known so many people who like genuinely sound like happy to see me and I'm, I know I'm happy to see them. So yeah, maybe I just need to to tell some of them that. Well, there you go. Let me ask you this. Is there some sort of conflict going on? that you're worried about not being able to help your friends? It's... I don't even know if it's a... Because I don't think I'd know how it help. It's even, I don't know if it's like a... like a physically helping thing, or whether it's just... the sheer, like... I don't know. It's, it's, it's like... Imagine your colleagues... were going to, like... I don't know, somewhere, somewhere that's at war, you know what I mean? And like, they were all leaving and you weren't sure, every time they walk out the door, you weren't sure you were going to see them again. It's kind of what it feels like, literally every single day. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's more, I don't really know if I could physically, because I'll be honest with you, if I see a gun, it's quite likely I'm going to bloody piss out. But it's more like, it's, okay. it's more like, and, and I've nearly pissed out once, it's more like, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just so much worry. But I that's what makes you unique and strong in your own way, brother. Let me, perhaps without giving you the answer, you can find your own way. But let me ask you this. Your friends, that you heard the gunshots. 
and you were worried about them. Now, if one of them went down to the police department to ask some questions, how do you think that the police would treat them? Well, yeah, this this is this has always been part of my struggle life. Is that like when I came to this place, I always would. I guess it was kind of put into me when I was younger that good is good and bad is bad. You know, people like police officers are good. Criminals are bad. Simple. But like, the things I've seen here, well, I remember I've seen several police officers mistreat people down at the food court and just beat people up for no reason. But the people I'm talking about who, my friends, they've, they've done nothing but give me an opportunity and give me more and more people to connect with. Do you think all doctors are good? Um, probably not now because there's that one doctor in there who literally just seemed like she, she wants me to get hurt. So that I'll keep coming well, back. Then there you go. There's no blanket terms. It's an individual thing. Either people individually are a good person or they're not personally i believe there's a little bit of good in everybody where i was steering you was you have a unique opportunity you aren't some violent criminal in the eyes of others and while you might not be able to, per se, help them by, you know, physically being there in an altercation, information is important too. I'll give you an example. And please don't think differently of me because of this. No, I won't. I had a friend that was not the greatest person in the world. But what she did, I thought, was a good thing. There were people that would just indiscriminately hurt other people. And she would take care of them. I don't like seeing people get hurt. It makes me sad. Especially if the violence is perpetrated on pointless actions and so while if she were to ask for someone where they live or something like that the cops know what she's going to do with that information but if I ask in your shoes for example you're just trying to make a delivery to their house and you need the address it's a very easy way to get someone's address to their house don't you think then your friends know where to start looking just as an example okay yeah I guess there's so. ways that you can help people you just have to know what to say and know how to go about it. It's something that you'll have to think of on your own. <laughs> on how you can help. Yeah, okay, Arthur. I'll get it. I think I'll get you. And if that's not good enough, and you feel like you should help in other ways, then as long as you don't regret your decision, that's all that matters. Just let people know how you feel, and be open and honest about it, and I'm sure they will see that honesty and repay you with honesty and kind. Don't be afraid of that answer. Because the answer is always going to be whatever the answer is, whether you get it or not, 
you might as well ask and find out sooner rather than later, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, because I think if I don't, if I don't ask, I'm scared of what's going to happen. So I think you're right, Arthur. I think you know how much I needed this conversation, I'll be honest. I'm just here to yap. I <laughs> appreciate you listening to me. Oh, but you're very good at yapping. I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. You saw, and you know something as well, Arthur. It's like when I said, like, I hear, like, memories in my head. Mm -hmm. I I have noticed tonight that like when I was worried about my friends it was like the memories were happening more and more often and then when I went to the prison and threw glizzies over the wall I'm not even sure I heard another one well Sounds like regret to me. You were going through your memories and thinking about all the things that you could have done differently to have gotten a better outcome for your friends. And at one point you stopped overthinking things and you just acted and did what you could in that moment instead of worrying about what you couldn't change. And it gave you a bit of clarity. Bloody hell, you're good, you are, Arthur. I'm just doing what I can, brother. Okay, Arthur, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and reach out to a couple of people and... I'll give it a shot. That's what I like to hear, brother. And if you see me, you if you can. see me dead on the, there was a joke.